Good morning. Well, that's the other side of that threshold bricked up. Got to wait for that to dry, which is kind of a recurring theme at the moment. So, about the levels. Now, remember on the last video, I realised that this level is different to the level behind, which is different to the level there. So, what I think I'm going to do. It's just stick with the original levels that were here. It kind of makes sense that there was a couple of steps down to here and then a couple of steps down to the other room. Logistically, like in the future future, I don't know how that will hinder the chateau, but I guess it worked for them back then. It's easy enough for me to get that level back now without changing anything major in the chateau. So I think probably that's what I'm going to do. So that's done and waiting to dry. Once it's dry, I can infill with stone and lime. And then actually I'm gonna build on top of that to support the floor, which is kind of a whole complicated thing. Things are gonna have to change slightly, but I'll explain more later in the video because it's probably something that needs like a drawing. I'm going to head to the builder's merchant. I just spoke to him to see about what I can use either this block and beam system or another system. They have said the block and beam is super, super heavy. Probably weight wise on the wall and doing it myself. I don't know. So I'm going to check it out. Hopefully, I'll make it in time. relatively successful trip so I've ordered two I-beams to go one of the other sides to replace one of the well like destroyed ones um, so that's a base of another floor in the other side of the chateau um, I spoke to the builders about this block and beam I've ordered it because we kind of broke down and worked out the weight per beam and it's like 42 kilos, which easily like I can lift myself. Um, if it was any more, it was gonna get quite difficult. And actually that means overall the new floor will weigh less than the old floor. So that's a good thing as well. And it'll all be tied together. So I've got the stuff for the ring beam. Well, I'll explain when I get back. Okay, so let me just spell out some of the next stages and how exactly this is moving forward. So on top of the new brickwork that I've just done, will sit the ring beam. Now this is made up of these U-shaped blocks. Inside that, I'll fill them with cement and reed bar, and that'll create one long stretch, tying the whole wall together and spreading the weight evenly across the wall. 
On top of that will be the beams for the block and beam system. Now these are concrete beams, they'll be set slightly into the ring beam to tie one wall to the other. So that means the chateau wall and the new wall I've built will have these concrete lintels go from one to the other, cemented in, which will tie both walls together. Then after that, it's just a case of plopping in the concrete blocks and there you have a floor. After you'll screed it or concrete it, however that works. But that's a solid concrete floor that ties them both together. Now the things I just wanted to double check before I went ahead was one, how heavy these concrete beams are to see if I can actually like get them up there and lift them. They're only 42 kilos, so that is well doable. After which the whole floor in total should weigh less than the old floor because the iron bars weighed more than 40 kilos and it had bricks, concrete, and it had two ton water tanks up there. So it should be super stable with a new brickwork and the new floor. It'll all be tied together and it'll be a nice solid base. Now, annoyingly, there's like a three week wait on them. I've ordered them today. So hopefully I can just do all the prep, take the other ceiling down, brace a wall while I do that. And then hopefully it's all ready in time. And the other thing I ordered. Now each of the other floors has these two I-beams and you can actually see here that they're hooked into a metal bar in the wall. So it pulls one wall to the other. So I've ordered two of these and again, there's another three week delay, but I've ordered uh, them to the exact size. I've just ordered two because I want to see like how it goes, how my measuring is, how heavy they are. But now I've got these floors in, they should be a lot simpler to put in. And once they're in, it means them floors can be built as well. So it would be big progression, but there's a lot, a little like kind of prep, prep work to do in between. So what I was hoping to do is kind of do this side first, then take down that side and do that side. But the ring beam needs to be in one solid piece. So that means I can't just do half and pour half. It needs to be one solid run. So I think I'm going to have to brace this bit tomorrow and take that down. Take these bricks down, rebuild them, and then we're ready. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be a hard few weeks, but how exciting that in two or three weeks time, this bit will be completely finished, stronger than it was before, a whole bit of the chateau rebuilt. So there is something we've got to talk about. There's been a very significant loss in the last few days. Some of you may have seen already, and it's hit me pretty hard because it's basically the thing that's been there at every major turning point over the last couple of years. Some days it's the only thing I've spoken to for weeks on end and always listens, never talks back. And actually the reason the daily vlogs exist is because of this, because I was trying to save to get this, to make the vlogs better, to progress further. I'm gonna start doing a daily vlog where Find this camera, like I keep saying, um, so I know which camera I want now, and it's quite expensive. Let me buy it, and I'll make the money back on YouTube as quick as I can. I'm not going to do it forever. I'm going to do it as long as I can. Mate, I'm hoping, I'm aiming for a month. Your order is ready. Yes. Know what I'm going to be doing today. <laughs> now look it owes me nothing it's done like 500 vlogs right and 
the way it's been treated and the environments it's been in over that because I've had to sell film, it's been sprayed with render, hit with diggers, fall off scaffolding, everything. But in the end, it was a half a metre high fall off of a windowsill that just killed it. But that's why there's a weird change in video quality and audio. Hopefully by next week, I'll have a replacement because it is a pain filming with this situation. So it'll be back to normal next week. There's a real busy week ahead. And then Calvin's back after that. So I'll see you tomorrow.